Hi, my name is Amy Cross and this is The Cross Legacy and today we are going to talk about strawberry jam with chia seeds and why I made it this way. But this is strawberry jam. This is refrigerator jam or you can put it in the freezer. This week's blog post will have the instructions for this which will be in the description box here on YouTube so you'll be able to see the full recipe but I kind of wanted to talk about why I decided to do this recipe and not what I typically do for jam. So normally when you're making jam, I don't know if you've ever made jam before but it's normally five cups of berries and seven cups of sugar seven cups of sugar like more than the berries so even when I was looking for a low sugar um, jam recipe it was five cups of berries and three cups of sugar and still a low sugar recipe and a heck of a lot of sugar so I always substitute monk fruit instead of regular raw sh sugar in our house because we have a sugar allergy in our house and that is what we use so we use monk fruit instead and we also have an Amazon link for that if you're looking for it but I was looking for a recipe that would take monk fruit and make it into jam and then I got thinking well I can do it one by one and that is three cups of sugar well that's kind of a lot of sugar even if it's monk fruit and it's better for you that's still like expensive three cups of sugar is kind of expensive when you're talking about monk fruit and so then I was looking up different other recipes and how to um, go about making this jam that wasn't mostly sugar and that it was mostly jam so I found a recipe for making it with chia seeds and that is what we will be um, doing for the blog and so anyways this is the strawberry jam that I made with chia seeds now this only took three tablespoons of um, monk fruit to make so three tablespoons compared to three cups is a whole big great big difference so three tablespoons of monk fruit in here. You could use regular sugar if you wanted to use that. Instead of monk fruit, we used monk fruit, but we used chia seeds in it, and I used, I don't have the recipe handy, but I think I used three tablespoons, but um, I put chia seeds in it, and the secret to doing the chia seeds is I put them in my magic bullet, and I grounded them up before I put them in the jam, and that helped it so it didn't make it seem seedy in the jam, or make it feel like you were eating raspberry jam instead of strawberry jam. So I blended this up, just three tablespoons. I blended it up before I put it into the pot, according to the recipe, all the things. But if you blend it up first is kind of the secret not to get it um, looking like, you know, a bunch of seeds in your jam. So anyways, that is how I made jam. If I was going to be putting this in the freezer, um, I like the jars that don't have what I call is a shoulder, but they don't go in. I like when they go straight up. So this is an eight ounce jelly jar. And then I would give it um, more of like an inch of headspace. So that's whatever's empty up here is called headspace on a jar. So I would give it about an inch if I was putting it in the freezer. And when I put the hot jam in here, I would put this jam in the refrigerator first and let it cool down to refrigerator temperatures before I put it in the freezer. So don't put hot liquid or hot anything straight from your stovetop into the freezer your jar will crack so leave about an inch of headspace if you're putting it in the freezer if not in the refrigerator it'll last like at least two weeks so anyways the recipe will be in the description and um it's a blog post on the cross legacy this week so chia seed strawberry jam <laughs> 